All right, so bear with me. I'm doing the best I can. Uh, so we're gonna start off with uh, my main piece of luggage or what I like to consider the main piece of luggage here. And this is just a 25 gallon Husky trunk. So this is what it looks like. I got this from Home Depot and pretty much I'm using this to put like the majority of my stuff in it. If you see it has wheels because I'm gonna have to carry a lot of stuff and I don't know about y'all but the upper body strength ain't on 10, it's more like a six. So <laughs> maybe a five, I'm, I'm giving myself too much credit. So I like to have things with wheels and that's where I'm trying to put the bulk, the majority of my stuff at so that I could just pull it with me as you can see it has this really big handle here so that'll be helpful um yeah so inside of the husky trunk right now i'm in the middle of packing so that's why all this stuff is like over here on the floor i'm putting everything into these hefty bags and then taking the vacuum with the hose and just vacuuming to press it down so that it looks like this um these right here are just my cold weather boots so i haven't like taken the tags off of anything yet these are a little bit heftier than my main boots that i'm gonna be wearing and of course i don't need those right away so that's why i put them in the husky trunk and then if we come to the trunk these are the two bags that i put in there so far and in this first bag right here i labeled everything so that i know exactly what's in there but i'll still show you guys anyway so on here it says i have two long john tops three pairs of socks a pair of cold weather gloves and four santis then i also have four pt tops four pt bottoms a boonie hat a helmet cover and a fleece cap so that's everything that's in this one pouch and this is what it looks like when it's like on the floor. So I put everything in here, fill it up, make sure this is nice and sealed. And then I go ahead and stick the vacuum right here and just suck everything up. As you can see, a lot of things in here still have like the tags on them. These are still on that. So yeah, down here I have um, not as much stuff in here, but that's because the stuff that I put in this one is a little bit bigger. So I have two OCP tops, which is just like the main portion of my uniform and that's what it's called, an OCP. So my OCP tops, a Gore-Tex, which is like your um, inclement weather jacket, kind of like a little raincoat, two fleece and a waffle. I have two fleece. I don't know why I'm bringing two fleece. You technically don't need to, but I don't know. I just brought it just in case. And this is what this one looks like and then this is of course the bottom of the husky so it's pretty deep so if I come over here to this lovely lovely pile um, I start to contemplate and I feel like I'm going to have to um, actually get another husky maybe or like a smaller version of this husky because looking at it I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit all of this along with all of this so pretty much this right here this little stash plus a couple of other things i'm gonna put over here is my toiletries that i plan on taking with me so these are all of my feminine hygiene products i have a bunch of like you know so we're not gonna go into detail but i use um the honey pot because they are organic and they're all natural and they're just a great 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 company so i stocked up on those before i left i ordered this off of line and i'm not gonna be able to get it shipped to me while i'm over there so i just stocked up now um so I should be good um in here I went ahead and bought like a bunch of toiletries like the stuff that I like to use because um as you can tell by the title <laughs> of this I said like a bougier you know type of deployment packing and that's because I'm really really particular with the items and the products that I use so I had to basically like stock up on stuff and I need to bring a lot of stuff with me and I'm like really particular with how I pack especially how I pack toiletries because I don't want them to be all over the floor so okay if you look over here I bought a bunch of these little clear things and I'm gonna put labels on these two okay I said a bunch I only bought two as of right now but I wanted to test them out and see how I like them before I went back and bought more and I like them so in here I'll open it up and show you guys like everything I'm bringing hold on all right, so in this first container, I have just these goody ouchless um, hair ties because of course I'm in the military and I have to wear my hair pulled back. So I made sure I packed these, even though I don't use these a lot, I packed them with me just in case. Um, Q-tips we have in here. I have another thing of Q-tips over there, but we'll get to that. Floss, Listerine, 
a tongue scrubber and the toothpaste that I like. I like to use this one because it bubbles up. It's aqua fresh and yeah, I just really like this one. I've been using it for years and I'm particular. They have a BX over there so that's a little shopping center on base where I'll be able to get more stuff if I need it but I just want to make sure that I at least started off. Like I said, I am very particular about the things that I like to use so I went ahead and made sure that I at least brought them with me initially so I'd have them. And then if we roll over here to this one, um, I have these toothpaste caps. I said toothpaste caps, toothbrush covers, Lord have mercy. Um, a bunch of toothbrushes because I like a firm toothbrush and I don't know, I can't even find like hard, these aren't firm or hard, these are medium, but I like these ones because they have like really strong bristles so I bought a bunch of these. Um, just to last me for the first couple months. Contact solution, of course I wear contacts. So I brought like a smaller size and I have a travel size. I have like two or three more travel sizes that I'm taking with me. So I don't have to carry like a big gigantic fat um, contact solution case. So that's that. Deodorant, which of course Dove and aluminum deodorant is horrible for you, but I'm <laughs> I'm not taking natural deodorant. I need some something with some strength to it because we're gonna be hot. Um, more cotton swab and razors so I can shave my legs and my underarms. I really, 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 really prefer to use men's razors over women's razors. I don't know why. I just think they have a better shave to them. So that's that. And I um. My feminine wash is from the Honey Pot, so I'm taking that with me. Contacts, I bought a bunch of contacts so that I have them while I'm gone. And then my facial products. I have a bunch of other stuff that this is not even like all of it. Like I have a lot of other toiletries I'm taking with me. And then of course my shower caddy is right here and it's just housing like my glasses in this little area that I'm gonna be taking with me. And I got this at Target on clearance, so I was happy. But I don't know if that is going to fit once I put my comforter and everything in here. I don't know if I'm going to have enough room. So, hmm, we'll see. We'll see what's going to go on with this little section right here. Back to the living room area where my husky is. Um, over here on the couch, I just threw a few things that I'm going to wear like around the living quarters because while I'm there, I cannot wear civilian clothing outside. I'm only allowed to wear my actual OCP uniform or PT gear. So, and that's while I'm outside on the base and I can't go off the base. So <laughs> if I'm outside of my room or where I live at, I cannot wear civilian clothing. So I don't need to bring a lot of civilian clothing, but I brought stuff with me or I'm packing stuff that I feel like um, will pretty much be like lounge clothing. So I have two pairs of sweatpants right here a black pair um and a gray pair i have a not just october tee shout out to var i have this hoodie just a pullover something comfortable it says ohio on there of course you know you gotta rep where you're from um and then i have this um just nike zip up hoodie just in case i don't feel like pulling anything over my head and i'm also going to put like leggings um some other t-shirts some biker shorts small stuff along with these and I'm gonna put it in that third hefty bag and go ahead and zip it up. I'm not gonna pack too many, you know, civilian clothes. I'm gonna bring um, some more jeans and then like dressier shirts for my time when I'm actually like traveling back and I get to wear regular clothes again. But yeah, for the most part, it's just gonna be like lounge stuff. I'm gonna put some like workout clothes in here and yeah, that's pretty much it. This is gonna be a really, really small bag and it's just gonna be neutrals, um, black, whites, grays, um, maybe some tan in there. So I just went and grabbed some my comforter and stuff out of the washer and I just wanted to show you guys really quickly before I place it in this bag and seal it up and then I'll show you what it looks like after as well but um, I just have a pillowcase so I bought like a satin pillowcase and that's going to go on this pillow which is a smaller pillow it's like a little travel pillow but I'm gonna take that with me because I feel like that'll be really easy to put in there and then once I actually get to base I can always buy a bigger pillow but for right now I'm trying to save as much space so that's that over here I have my lovely little fitted sheet it's like white and pink um another pillowcase for another pillow that i'll have on my bed another pillowcase and then the actual comforter itself and i got this because um i'm trying to keep my spirits up okay <laughs> so i'm gonna be away from my family my friends i'm gonna miss all the holidays i'm gonna miss everything in the area i'm going to you know deployment settings aren't luxurious it's not um, the Ritz Carlton or the Hilton or nothing like that. I'm not going to be in that type of environment. So I just wanted to make sure that I pack something with some color. Keep it girly. Keep it fun. Um, yeah, so I can sleep peacefully. So that's my bedding.
All right, so now you can see I have my comforter, my pillow, my pillowcases, and my fitted sheet all in the bag right now. This is prior to it being, I was gonna say sealed, but technically like vacuum pressed. So yeah, that's what it looks like. I went ahead and put my comforter in first. I just folded that a couple times and then I put everything inside this giant sham. So like my pillow, my other pillowcases and my sheet. And then there's the fill line. So you don't wanna go past that line. And then you wanna go ahead and seal everything, which it's sealed. So they give you like a red line and a yellow line. And then once it turns orange, it's good to go. It's nice and sealed. So I'm gonna vacuum press it and I'll come right back. All right, this is what it looks like after. So like super flat and yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the husky now so I really like these bags honestly if I were to move or I, I was just trying to really like save space and stuff I would use them like more and I think this is like a really cool way to pack away and store all of your like out of season clothing so like in the winter you put all your summer clothing in these zip them up put them in the crate that's like perfect and then you don't got to worry about like insects and all that other stuff getting into your stuff because it's nice and sealed up and I like it all right don't mind my room because it looks crazy right now but I'm coming in here to show you guys my 72 hour bag so the things that i am actually going to be carrying this is more so a carry-on type of luggage and i got this from ebags on amazon i watched a bunch of youtube videos and decided to go with this bag instead of the one that they issued me which is just this guy right here just because there is a good deal of things that you need to have in this bag and i just didn't feel like i was going to be able to actually um, fit all of the stuff I needed to fit into my carry-on into this bag. So I went with this one just because of how it opened up and it kind of opens like a suitcase. And it has a great deal of compartments. So I'll tell you guys what's in this and everything else I have laid out on my bed right now. So in your 72 hour bag, you need to have um, one set of uniforms. So that is exactly what I have laid out right here in front of me. It is my uniform and I went ahead and put these on because I literally leave in a couple days. So they tell you don't take your stuff like tags and stuff off of anything until I think a week before time. So yeah, like I said, I leave in a couple days. So I went ahead and took the tags off of the actual like name tapes and stuff which <laughs> you aren't gonna be able to reuse this for anybody so hmm, yeah um this is what the uniform looks like it's my hat uh ocp top ocp bottoms i bought two of the coyote tees with me just because i don't know how long i'm gonna have that one um if i'm gonna have to wear my uniform multiple days in a row while i'm traveling if i'm gonna get sweaty whatever it's gonna be hot i'm going overseas so i wanted to make sure that i had at least two santees with me for the time that i do have to wear my uniform in my 72 hour bag and then i also bought a gore-tex which this is the top i talked to you guys about the bottoms and i said like the little rain coat type thing this is what this is and i put my rank on it and yeah that's that for that i also have a belt here they gave us a whole list so this is stuff that was like on my list to bring my belt of course that's a part of your uniform so you're not in uniform if you don't have your belt all your pieces they took us to bring um a reflective belt a lot which we were issued these are my two pairs of socks unfortunately i'm kind of saucy about this though because i was issued men's size um eight to nine and a half which is a women's 10 to 11 and a half as you can see by the tag and i wear eight and a half so these are gonna be huge but socks a sock i'll survive so over here in my bag i kind of started packing so these are like my main shoes that i'm gonna be wearing and i'm gonna like reorganize all this so that it's like a lot better i just wanted to throw some stuff in here the other day and i'm reopening it to kind of you know fix it up and stuff so these are the main boots that i'm gonna be wearing while i'm there these are the boots that go to that uniform um i have those over there because of course like i said we have to have our uniform in this bag so one uniform on you um some civilian clothing which i just have like a little um shirt right here some jeans and i still have to put like shoes and stuff in here um on this side i have pt gear like a set of pt gear so i have like a top and then the pt pants because i feel like i'm gonna want to wear pants i don't really want my legs exposed while i'm traveling or while i'm going somewhere else so i have a top and pt pants which i'm gonna take out of this as well um underwear pretty self-explanatory i have like think like four or five pairs right here including this little rolled one um but i'm gonna put some more in 
in here just because we're gonna be traveling for a few days and I like to have a lot of pair of underwear. Um, these are just big grandma Hanes draws. That's what I wear to work. Hey, um, some sports bras and yeah, that's literally all that's in here as of right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of, you know, get my packing cubes and stuff in order and like fill all of this out. Um, if necessary, you know, if I put everything in here and I don't like the way that it fit, I will switch it and I'll just go back to that bag over there. But I would hope that I didn't waste my money. So let's keep it positive. And this will also be in my 72 hour bag. This is just my toiletry pouch. It hangs up and this is the one that I travel with on a regular basis like I take this one with me and that's why it's like so stuffed to maximum capacity it won't look like this it looks like it right now <laughs> just because um I, like I said I just came from out of town so that's kind of why but pretty much it's just like you know my travel size stuff small stuff in here um face wash razors deodorant let me not like pull every everything out um toothpaste you know toothbrush face wash little stuff like that q-tips uh facial products toothpaste smell goods really simple i'm gonna pack this though because it's really small and cute and i feel like it'll just drop in here really well once i organize everything so all of my toiletries that i'll need just to like have on hand to reach quickly will be within my 72 hour bag in this little pouch right here all right everyone i just wanted to come back to you really quickly and kind of just like close out this video just because um i'm still in the midst of packing i leave tomorrow morning and yeah i'm just a little a little stressed but i'm pretty much done so i'm just gonna go over everything i'm um, kind of show you guys what i put in my trunks and in my bag and yeah that's that on that um so over here this is the main trunk that first trunk that you guys saw me begin to pack so this one has the majority of like all of my clothing which is my uniform necessities like everything that they gave me that I was issued so it's stuffed all the way to the bottom civilian clothing um, all of the like flashlights and name tapes and all of that stuff that I was issued over here uh, my I believe that's my packaging for oh yeah my ballistic eyewear um, a extra reflective belt and then my stethoscope because I am medical and I just kind of tossed it in there um, over here this is my pajama clothing so it has like all of my pajamas that I plan on wearing along with a bunch of underwear and sports bras this is open and unsealed right now just because i'm throwing a extra pajama dress to wear at night in there so and that happens to be in the wash right now so that's the only reason why this is out or this trunk will be closed and it's actually complete so that's good to go um if you come over here this trunk is pretty much complete and good to go as well i am going to throw i think like one or two more things in here and then i'm finished so this is my shower caddy and it's over here just by itself just because of how tall it is so it takes up the majority of the room of the trunk so I couldn't like put anything under it or put anything on top of it because this won't close so that's over there by itself and it just has this extension cord in here because I don't know how far away I'm going to be from the wall and I want to make sure that I can plug everything up I also have an adapter that's going to be carried in my electronic case in my main book bag that's going to be on me at all times and that's so I am able to you know charge everything and while I'm traveling oh if I could talk Jeez Louise so I can charge everything while I'm traveling uh, over here I have my study materials for my RRT which yes I did put in this little like ziploc bag because there's nothing I hate more than like pages and stuff that are like crumpled up and I just can't like I hate when my study materials or books or anything get bent on the edges it, ugh, it just it just throws me off so yeah that's that that's in here just like this and then underneath it this is like all of my toiletries so like hella stuff is in here razors um, um, retainers contacts just everything feminine hygiene vitamins like everything you could possibly think of as far as like a toiletry is concerned is in here and then at the bottom of this I just have a extra blanket that I got from like Victoria's Secret a while ago um, and it's just like a little fleece just in case it's cold in the room I could throw that on top of my comforter so yeah and also in here is my mandatory items that I have to bring so this is a gas mask um, that's in there and then my lovely lovely canteen and I had that piled up over here on this side so as soon as hmm, I don't know I think this one I can actually close now so I think that's good I just want to make sure I get everything um, out of my bathroom before I like lock this down lock this down and like I said I think there were one or two more things I need to put in here but then this will be good to be closed all right so if we walk over here 
We have my lovely, lovely, hefty, hefty 72 hour bag. This is like 25 pounds worth of stuff. And if I was to open this up, you would see like my mandatory items. So like the things that they told me to carry on my person, which is like another reflective belt, um, a lock, a water bottle, uh, change of civilian clothing, PT gear. Matter of fact, I'll open it up and I'll show you because I can actually fit hella stuff in this bag. So I'll show you one second. All right, so I'm not so sure how good the lighting is. But hopefully it's good enough for you guys to see. So I'll unzip this really, really quickly. And I think it's this edge. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> There's like a million zippers on here. So I'm confused. But it's this edge. And pretty much it just flaps open like so. And there's a million things in here. So if you guys can see, I'll try to like hold this up a little bit. So I have the reflective belt and lock is in this little cubby right here. I have PT gear that is stored in this, um, what is that called? Oh, I have PT gear that's stored in this packing cube right here. So it's two sets of PT gear. I have a towel, which is like the one that um, snaps in the front and Velcros. I thought that would be cool to bring and it dries pretty quickly. So I don't have to worry about carrying like a giant, giant towel. I have a water bottle, my toiletry pouch that has a million trillion toiletries in here, but this is what I'm going to be carrying on my person. I have like two things to throw in here, my shower shoes, changes of civilian clothing, and then there is a uniform vacuum sealed, like a whole entire uniform, hat, pants, tops, jacket, uh, undershirts, all of that is vacuum sealed at the bottom of this. And then my boots are over here on this flap. So that is everything. That is in my 72 hour bag. It's kind of like packed up and compressed like so. And I like this one because it opens like a suitcase. So I think that's pretty cool. And then I just have a extra pair of glasses, which are my sunglasses that were issued to me, like military prescription ones. Because uh, according to my reporting instructions, you're not allowed to wear contacts here unless you're air crew. So yeah, I guess I'll be wearing my glasses the majority of my deployment unless, you know, other instructions are provided. But I have these because they say it's really, really bright and sunny where I'm going. And also um, these, which are another pair of sunglasses that were issued to me by the military. And they're a little bit different. They are not prescription. So that is everything that is in this bag and I just tagged it. I also tagged, I also tagged both of my Huskies and I don't know if I told you guys about that, but like I have like the little sticker down there and it has my name on it just so when my Husky does come off, um, I can find it easily, like I said. And then both of my Huskies have this little tag on it, which is just a D for diamond and it's on there pretty sturdy like this kind of like you have to like twist it and fasten it in and so yeah it's on there pretty sturdy like so happy with that last but not least i have one more backpack here and i'm probably gonna put like my name tape or something on there but this is my backpack that i will be carrying all of my electronics in so my computer is back there i'm gonna have my ipad in there um there's a travel blanket this is everything that i need to actually charge any of those electronics so those will be in there um, my actual binder with like all my deployment information uh, my wallet, just things that I need to get to really quickly that I want to put under my seat and have on my person like fast, fast, fast. Don't want to dig for it. Don't want to have to think about it. That's going to be in this book bag right here. So in total, I have four bags, a book bag carrying my electronics and my documents, my 72 hour bag with all of the clothing and required items that I need. This Husky over here with all of my toiletries and a few of my military issued items because I'm going to get more equipment when I get to my halfway point. They're going to me like full chem gear and a bunch of stuff to carry so <laughs> not looking forward to that and then my main husky that has like all of my clothing so if i'm looking for any type of uniform um civilian clothing anything you know once i actually get to my station when i can unpack and unravel everything else will be in this trunk so um yeah like i said <laughs> the title of this is like a bougie 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 deployment packing because um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people try to pack as least as possible, but I am a chronic overpacker. I cannot help it. It's just something like with the OCD and my anxiety. I have to have to have to pack everything, double check everything. I take extra just because I would rather have something and not really need it or not need it right away versus not have it at all. So that's 
what's going on here. But I hope this was helpful. Can't wait to see you guys again. Let me know um, if you guys packed this much, if you didn't pack this much, what you think of my packing style. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Love you guys so much. Thank you for coming to my video, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.